the CBS2 Broadcast Center in Chicago. This is CBS2 News at 6. Tonight, accusations Pope Francis didn't do enough to protect children. And for the first time, we're hearing from the head of the Chicago Archdiocese about a weekend bombshell. Do you believe the Pope should step down as he's been asked to do? Solving Chicago's violence problem. This is a safe place to be in. One teenager at a time. And a sweltering start to the week. Many asking, when will relief him? Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. We begin with breaking news at Union Station, where things are a mess again. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli live at the station with more on this story. Vince. Erica Sargent, we begin with breaking news. Here we are, Rob and Erica, shoulder to shoulder with all of the frustrated Metro passengers who have not been able to leave Union Station for a good portion of the rush hour. And here's what I can tell you. We've been learning that the impacted lines are the Southwest Corridor, the BNSF, and the Heritage Corridor lines. Now, some trains are getting out within the next 15 to 20 minutes, but for at least the past hour and a half, there have been significant problems. Apparently, there is some sort of switching and, and delay problem. Problem, and some equipment to actually repair that problem can't make it in. And some trains, as we understand from announcements that have been made here at Union Station, the equipment can't get in, the trains can't get out. Some trains have been able to make it in. For example, the BNSF line, the 515 train, that train should be able to get out by about 6 o'clock, but they are making all stops. What's so frustrating for so many people is that some of these lines, particularly the BNSF, have had so many significant problems throughout the summer. BNSF switched to a new safety system that created some uh, delay issues, a change in schedules, there have been air conditioning issues, and all of that frustration, uh, some of these riders feel they're bearing just a little bit too much of the burden. So some trains are getting out, but not all of them. The best thing to do is to follow Metro online if you can, or if you can follow their social media accounts, and we'll keep you posted as soon as we have more information. Till then, reporting live from Union Station, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. All right, Vince, thanks for that update. Also tonight, calls for Pope Francis to resign after a scathing letter says the Pope did nothing when he learned about accusations. A high-ranking Cardinal, Theodore McCarrick, sexually abused children. I sat down with Chicago's Cardinal Blaise Supich this afternoon asking him, should the Pope resign? Do you believe any of the allegations against him, or do you think this is just... Against McCarrick? Against McCarrick, yes. Oh, oh yes, I think that the allegations against McCarrick were were uh, reviewed by the review board uh, in New York, uh, which found them not only uh, credible, but substantiated. And that's why he was, he was removed. Do you believe the Pope should step down as he's been asked to do? Absolutely not. I fully support the Holy Father. Do you doubt the yeah. veracity of any of these statements about the former Cardinal? Well, I would say two things about that. The first is that, of course, since he made statements about me, I put out a statement yesterday uh, that uh, challenged what he said about me, and so I wanted the record cl clear about that. But the other thing is, uh, it's very s strange to me that his main his main uh, uh, charge is that uh, the uh, this information was known about Cardinal McCarrick um, even by him and Benedict the Sixteenth. He says that there was a, some sort of secret sanction against him, and yet. Um, how is it that McCarrick appeared with him at different events? How is it that McCarrick came to the nunciature in, in Washington for public events, uh, that he celebrated mass with him, uh, if this was the case? What do you say to scandal-fatigued Roman Catholics in your flock or anywhere? I would say we in, in the Archdiocese of Chicago have a solid record of addressing any misbehavior uh, by priests with regard to minors or even adults. We're public about it. We, we go to parishes, tell them what's going on. We're transparent. We take swift action. Uh, and also we continue to uh, do safe environment training for everyone. We do background checks. Our schools are safe. Um, we, we will uh, continue that protocol. Uh, my hope would be that let's make child safety uh, a priority for the whole adult world. And that is child safety in any institution that deals with children on a day-to-day -day basis. That's what my hope is. And there's harsh criticism tonight for the Vatican from a state lawmaker. Pete Breen, a conservative Republican representing Lombard, did not hold back on what he thinks needs to get done. The problem was uh, you've got this Cardinal McCarrick who was an absolute cancer on the church. 
And so when you look at his actions, you've got to look at everyone who, you know, what did they know? Uh, what did they do to enable him? What did they do to allow him to travel or to otherwise represent the church? And if they knew, well then, much more difficult questions. Need. Because this is such a global case, Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan has launched a clergy abuse hotline. Madigan urges any Illinois resident to call 1-888-414-7678 with information on allegations of sexual assault or abuse. Two children are fighting for their lives after a devastating fire during a sleepover in the Little Village neighborhood. The weekend fire has already taken the lives of eight children. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemonio joins us live from Strozier Hospital where she has spoken with the family. Suzanne. Erica, two cousins right now remain hospitalized here at Strozier. Their aunt tells us both of them are on life support right now. Sheila Reyes says she's the aunt of all of the 10 children impacted by this early Sunday morning fire here in Little Village. Eight of the children, ranging in age from three months to 16 years old, died. The children had come together for a sleepover. My mom got a big family. There's 11 of us. She had 39 grandkids. Reyes says the two surviving children, cousins Cesar and Adrian Contreras, remain hospitalized here at Stroger. You said they're brain dead, Sheila? Yeah. So they're on life support right now? Yes, they're on life support. Firefighters went door to door in the neighborhood this morning, passing out smoke detectors. There were no smoke detectors in the second floor apartment where the family perished. It's heart wrenching to know that that happened in this day and age. The smoke detectors are important, they save lives. A fire department spokesperson says it appears all the children were overcome by smoke. A smoke detector could have given enough warning for them to get out. That message was not lost on those who came to the growing memorial outside the building. Do you have a working smoke detector in your house? I do, and I have actually like told a lot of people, like, take this moment and go to your house, check your apartments, and make sure that like all the smoke detectors are actually working. Now, city records show that as recently as June of last year, that inspectors were inside that home looking at electrical violations. There was no mention at that time of any lack of smoke detectors, but city records do show that in 2015, landlords were cited for having no smoke detectors on that second floor level where this weekend fire started. So what's really not known right now is what happened between 2015 to those smoke detectors and now. We're live at Stroger Hospital, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Uh, just devastating. Thank you, Suzanne. Meantime, gunfire on the Dan Ryan Expressway overnight, and tonight police are looking for the person that fired the shots. Two people were seriously hurt early this morning when bullets hit their car in the southbound express lanes near 55th Street. There have been 20 shootings on the Dan Ryan so far this year. On the weather watch, the sun working overtime today in Chicago, enough to make runners and bikers shed the shirts on the 606 trail. And who can blame them? Ed, it is steamy, it is warm, and when's that going to end? Well, we've got another day of it around here. It's not just the heat, it's the humidity, and this heat has a cumulative effect on your body, so if you don't have air conditioning, get into a place that does. Go walk to, around a store for a while and cool down. It really, really helps your body. 90 Two degrees right now at O'Hare with a brisk wind of 21 miles an hour. We hit 93 today and the record was 97 degrees. So where are we headed? One more day of heat and humidity. Storms late Tuesday. Relief comes our way on Wednesday. All right, looks good. Thanks, Ed. With recent violent weekends in Chicago, a creative approach to the problem. One of the big reasons I stopped gaming too is because I was tired of getting shot at. One solution to stopping violence from a former gang member who knows all too well. And CBS 2 Primetime kicks off with Mom at 7, Life in Pieces at 7.30, then an all-new Salvation at 8, followed by a new episode of Elementary at 9. And don't miss CBS 2 News at 10. When you're America's best value, who needs balloons? Okay. Lease the 2019 Sorrento LX for $219 a month. Urgent hearing health announcement. AccuQuest Hearing Centers is searching for 50 people with hearing difficulties or ringing in their ears to assess the new, discreet, state-of-the-art, 
CO9 hearing aid, now available to the public. Dial the number below to see if you qualify. 50 people with hearing difficulties or ringing in their ears will be selected to take part in this 30-day program. The CO9 is the first micro hearing aid that instantaneously adapts to your ever-changing environment. This Bluetooth connected device is so advanced, it detects and lowers background noise seamlessly, allowing you to stay connected to the conversation. To be selected, you must dial the number below. Qualified callers will receive a free hearing consultation as part of the program. AccuQuest Hearing Centers invites you to assess the CO9 for 30 days. Dial the number below and choose to experience better hearing today. Next up, another shopper who didn't overpay for designer glasses and all because she went to America's Best. Allison is sporting seven for all mankind designer frames, which she just picked up alongside some striking Sofia Vergara's. She got both pairs of glasses and a free eye exam for just $69.95. Work it, girl. Okay, work it a little less, maybe. It's not just a better deal, it's America's Best. Celebrating 40 years of providing affordable eye care. Hurry, sale on Saturday. When you're America's best value, who needs balloons? Okay. Lease the 2019 Sorrento LX for $219 a month. Next DT. I try to throw something in every room I enter. Mm -hmm. Anna Kendrick's bizarre Hollywood advice. Just take advantage of people, yell things, <laughs> assert yourself. Next DT. Tonight at 6.30 on CBS2. Weather on the go. The new CBS Chicago weather app. Get your hourly, daily, and extended 10-day forecast. Receive severe weather warnings. Explore interactive maps. And share pictures with our weather team. Download the new CBS Chicago weather app now. With Chicago in the crosshairs of violence, the city recently pledged an additional $10 million for mentoring programs. But what exactly does that mean? We visited Pilsen to find out. This is my little shrine. This is my little brother. Uh, he was killed. Mike Almore shows us his sad reality inside his YMCA office. This is Manny Mendoza. He, uh, we just lost him recently. Photos and a prayer on this wall all because of violence. There's several different gangs in this community. Big Mike, as he's known, was expelled for bringing a gun to school. Eventually, he turned his life around. And I was getting shot at by somebody I couldn't see, and I was leaning on a stop sign, and two bullets bounced off the pole I was leaning on. To me, that was if that wasn't divine intervention. That incident convinced Almore to leave gang life. One of his first jobs? at a cemetery. It bothered me to bury the young kids, the ones that, that lost their lives to, to violence. So when did they send you the application? Now uh, Almore is a mentor at the YMCA, working with teens I like 17-year-old William Javier. I was slowly creeping into like that area of you know, doing bad stuff. These chairs are one weapon in the war on violence. They form a peace circle where teens can talk freely. This is like a safe place to be in. Showing empathy um, and understanding makes me real. You know, I didn't get hired for this position or maintain the position because I was a saint. You know, I was, uh, I was, I was a sinner along part of my life. Life skills, goal setting, social awareness, and responsibility are four of the topics Almore tries to convey to his mentees. Is it a war we're winning? Uh, no, but it's, it's a war I'm willing to fight. Almore admits he can't save every teen, but he points to several success stories. They have left the gang path to return to school, even continue on to college. Construction worker, painter, and even pharmacists are some of their careers now. He, he said it so well, you can't win the war, but piece by piece, he is helping so many young people. And he has such a good attitude because you're not going to save everybody, but anything is a victory, right? Yes, Whenever we you saw see. it here. Yeah. Well, if you step outside, it feels more like Miami than Chicago. It is steamy. And if you worked in the air conditioning today, consider yourself lucky. Ebb tells us when we'll get some relief next. Is Fido trying to tell you that it's time for new windows? Let Window Works help by expertly installing high quality windows that block outside noises and keep the heat out during those long summer months. Improve your home today with new windows during our triple saving sale and save three ways. Receive 50% off labor with 50 months to pay and get a free gift with your in-home estimate.
really great, saving 11% off everything at Menards. Our family loves taking on new projects. Right now, we're updating our kitchen. From the clear view cabinets with Riverstone Quartz countertop to the Moen faucet, we're saving 11% on all of it. And the 11% savings keeps us coming back. We saved over $900 on our kitchen, and we're already planning our next project. Your next project starts right now with 11% off everything at Menards. People say that I'm a rock star. They think I stay up all night. The Hyundai Epic Summer Sales Event. With select SUVs starting around 20K, this summer is going to be epic. Get up to 3,000 in total savings on the Tucson or up to 3,750 in total savings on the Santa Fe Sport. Visit buyhyundai.com today. When you're a failure, you lie. Bruce Rauner is intentionally misquoting newspapers to lie about J.B. Pritzker. The very same articles make clear Pritzker only wants to raise taxes on wealthy people. Most people would see a tax reduction. Lower and middle income taxpayers would not pay more. And JB's plan increases funding for schools and reduces property taxes on local homeowners. Four years of failure and lying is enough. It's the summer of Jeep. Time to get out there in the most awarded and best selling SUV lineup. With legendary capability. Mike said, almost at this to point. And the ultimate in-car experience. Who knows where the adventure will take you. Connect with great deals during the Jeep Labor Day sales event. Get 4,000 combined cash allowance plus 1,000 bonus cash or well-qualified lessees. Get this low mileage lease on select 2018 Compass models. Kick off summer at Chicago City Market. Come out and explore. There's fresh produce, baked goods, and an eclectic mix of merchandise. Here's your chance to shop local, live greener, and eat healthier. For times and neighborhood locations, go to cbschicago.com slash citymarkets. Now some breaking news. Police have released photos of this man wanted in connection with a sexual assault in West Town. Police say a woman was walking down the sidewalk in the 1200 block of West Ohio around 7 o'clock yesterday morning when a man came up to her. She was then pulled into an alley nearby where she was severely beaten and sexually assaulted. Now in these pictures you can see the suspect wearing a white t-shirt and bears hat. The suspect's age is unknown at this time. Chicago school teachers returned to the classrooms today to get ready for the start of the new school year and former CTU president Karen Lewis, who stepped down to battle brain cancer, wrote a letter to teachers as they prepare for the new year. In the letter, she said, quote, the brave do not jump overboard. They do not abandon ship, nor do they panic. Even if the captain is down and the storm clouds are gathering, the rest of the crew must steer the ship on its charted course. Back now to the weather watch and it hardly feels like back to school time. Today was a real scorcher. Ed is back now with a check of this forecast. Yeah, we got to do it one more day and then we get some real relief around the Chicago area. We're looking at a temperature of 93 degrees in Midway right now. 92 degrees at O'Hare. When you put the humidity into the mix, it feels like 98 degrees at Midway right now. The winds are really gusty. 21 miles an hour at O'Hare, gusting up above 30 miles an hour in some cases. Our weather watchers reporting the hot temperatures everywhere. Let's go to our women weather watchers here in Johnsburg. Betty is 88. Margaret in Downers Grove is 91. Linda in Lake Villa has 91 in DeMont, Indiana. Alice has 90 degrees. Hot weather everywhere we look around the Chicago area. As you can see, we have clouds and sunshine. We have storms up in Minnesota, northern Wisconsin. We're going to see our share of storms tomorrow, and some of them could be on the strong to severe side tomorrow. Uh, we think we have some small chances for storms early in the day. It's at night as a cold front comes through that we really see the storms tomorrow. Again, they could be on the strong to severe side. For tonight, slight chance of a storm toward dawn. 77 degrees, winds gusty, up to 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow, we bring our temperatures all the way up to 90 degrees once again with high humidity levels. And then we look for a sign of some relief. And yes, we get it on Wednesday with 78 degrees. And if that's not good enough, Thursday, 75 <laughs> degrees with sunshine. And then we settle in at or a little above 
what's normal this time mm -hmm. of year, up around 82 degrees or so. Yeah, I like that we get to keep the sunshine but lower the temperature. Yeah, that's Bright gonna days feel good. Ahead. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you, Ed. Ryan's off, Megan's here, and the bats for the Cubs are back alive. You got it, they have high praise for their new leadoff man in town. How Daniel Murphy's presence at the top of the lineup is helping them shake out of their offensive rut. And a first round shocker at the U.S. Open that marks a historic exit. Money Watch on CBS2 is sponsored by Fox Valley Auto Group. I never wore my retainers, so my teeth started to get crooked again. Um, so I'm really just trying to get like a straighter smile. Hey Chicago, we're Smile Direct Club, and we believe everyone deserves a smile they'll love. That's why we deliver invisible aligners directly to you for only 80 bucks a month. Plus, we straighten most smiles in an average of just six months. To celebrate summer smiles, we're offering everyone a free smile shop visit and premium whitening for a limited time only. Get started today by booking a free 30-minute visit at a smile shop, or get started with an at-home impression kit from SmileDirectClub.com. The main thing J.B. Pritzker wants to do is raise taxes, an immediate increase in the current tax rate, a short and long-term plan to increase income taxes, a threat, a promise, a plan that will punish Illinoisans. Madigan and Pritzker want more money. As soon as Pritzker takes office, a significant increase that will affect all taxpayers. J.B. Pritzker and Mike Madigan. Higher taxes, more corruption. Does shopping for new windows leave you with a feeling of shock and disappointment? Then give us a call at Window Works. We have an A-plus rating with the BBB, and our windows come with a lifetime warranty. You'll always be satisfied with our work. And right now, you'll save a lot of money during our triple savings sale. In fact, you'll save three ways. Receive 50% off labor with 50 months to pay, and call now for a free $50 restaurant.com gift card with your in-home estimate. Call Window Works right now. In Illinois, politicians have turned corruption into an art form. I'm Erica Harold, and this scheme is one of the worst. Mike Madigan and Kwame Raoul team up to raise property taxes. In Chicago, Madigan's business does property tax appeals for the powerful. Higher taxes, higher profits. And Kwame Raoul? His top donor gets massive tax breaks from the county while you get higher taxes. I'm Erica Harold. As Attorney General, I'll make the politicians pay for their corruption, not you. Diamonds at their lowest prices ever. Certified three-quarter carat rings are just $11.90, one carat $17.90, two carat $29.50 per carat. Thousands of GIA diamonds at insane prices, plus over 50% savings on custom designs. Buy direct the Jewelry Exchange Villa Park. Why do we keep making the fastest muscle cars in the world? Because once you've tasted American performance, you can never get enough. We're the Brotherhood of Muscle. Don't miss the Dodge Labor Day sales event. Now, finance and get $3,250 combined cash allowance plus $1,000 bonus cash on select 2018 Challenger models in dealer stock. In an exclusive CBS2 investigation, police drawing guns on children. What was it like when that gun was pointed at you? It was like my life just flashed before my eyes. CBS2's Dave Savini exposed a police raid in the wrong home. I just hear my baby screaming, don't shoot my dad, don't kill my dad. Should a child ever have to go through that? No, sir. The police said they couldn't find any record of the warrant, but Dave did. We have it, why don't the police mm -hmm. have the it? The two investigators, investigations that get results only on CBS2. Well, it's a double dose of New York this week as both the Cubs and the White Sox look to take a bite out of teams from the Big Apple. The Sox visit the surging Yankees, winners of eight of their last nine games. They're hoping their red-hot Carlos Rodon can continue his recent success. He has a 1.61 ERA in August so far. That game is just underway. Meanwhile, the Cubs are looking to make it six straight wins, taking on the scuffling Mets. Anthony Rizzo was named the National League Player of the Week after hitting three homers and six RBI. And and the new leadoff hitter, Daniel Murphy, is proving to be quite the pickup. Murphy has hits in all five games since he's played since joining the Cubs, including four multi-hit games. The skipper likes the way the 33-year-old infielder has set the tone for the young guys that follow him in the order. Daniel setting the tone at the top. I love the idea that Hobby stands in the on-deck circle and watches him. I love that Rizzo's in the hole and he's watching him. I like the fact that guys are able to see him. If he's hitting behind them, not necessarily having the opportunity to really watch him. I like all of that. He's a great ball player. 
He's a great teammate. Uh, we love talking to the guy. He's just a uh, big part of what we're doing in this clubhouse. What he does is infectious. He's quality of his bats, the way he goes about his business. He's an unbelievable pro. The Bears are gearing up for their final preseason game against the Bills Thursday. It's the last chance for the guys in the bubble to show what they can do. And the question remains whether rookie linebacker Roquan Smith will finally see some game action for the first time. He was limited in practice again today with tightness in his hamstring. As for the starters, their mind is on the Packers while they rest up for the season opener. You definitely can simulate game speed when uh, everyone is holding each other accountable. You know, if I'm a scout team defender and I'm going against, uh, you know, one of the wide receivers that's the starter, I'm going to give him the best look possible. When you're really going full speed, then you get that game-like feel. We're playing against human beings in practice, and Akeem Hicks is pretty big and strong. I think you can't really simulate getting hit by a Mack truck. So, yeah, I'm, I know I'm going to be prepared. We'll all be ready to go. The plan is always to go out there and execute, you know, uh, to hit the ground running. It's not, you know, uh, it's not, you know, dip your toe in the water or anything like that. Um, so, you know, that's on us to, you know, get prepared, get in our, you know, books and um, just get out there and start fast. Also, Adele Beckham Jr. signed a five-year contract extension with the Giants, $65 million guaranteed, making him the highest-paid wide receiver in the NFL. And Illinois named graduate transfer A.J. Bush their starting quarterback. They open up against Kent State Saturday. Finally, a big shocker at the U.S. Open. World number one and French Open champion Simona Halep was off her game. 44th-ranked Kaya Kanepi of Estonia beat her 6-3, 6-4 in just over an hour. Halep is the first top-seeded woman to ever lose in the first round of the U.S. Open in the modern era. That's 50 years. That feat went untouched. Also, defending champ Sloan Stevens, Venus Williams, and Jack Sock all mm -hmm. advanced. She lost last year in the first round, too, but she wasn't number one in the world then. So, a shocker. A Major big upset. one. Mm -hmm. Thanks. That's our news at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent for Ed and Megan. Have a great night. We'll see you again at 10. Until then, stay up to date. Follow us on social media or log on to CBSChicago.com.